We are honored to share this next story. It is a story filled with love, respect, and understanding. It is the story of a birth mother and her daughter's adoptive mother. It is the story of Emma and Rachel. My name is Emma, and this is my story. I was a senior in high school when I found out I was pregnant. In that moment when you see the two lines on a pregnancy test and it's not excitement and it's devastation and a lot of fear and disappointment, no one can prepare you for that moment. I think right before graduation or right after is when we started looking at adoption agencies just to see what our options were, to talk to someone, answer maybe some questions. Choosing your child's parents, once again, is something you never think you're gonna have to do. How do you prepare for that? I mean, these are the people that are gonna mold your child's life. When we were choosing the couple, I just remember thinking, well, what is it that I can't provide? Why am I placing her for adoption? Luckily, my family was helping my mom and sisters, and they pointed a few things out about a certain book of one of the families. And the first word of their book was you. You know, the whole time, I never wanted to come off as selfish or that it was about me, that I wanted more for my life and that my child was, was interrupting my plans. I never, that never mattered to me. But to see this family focus their book on me made me realize how they valued others. After deciding that this was the couple for us, we met them. We just clicked and connected and the vulnerability and honesty was so transparent. In most situations, you know, a, a mother feels that bond for nine months. And usually the father, the father just doesn't know or feel it until the baby's born. Understandably, he started to question our decision because he wanted to raise her just as I did. You know, I, I wanted to respect his desires as well. And so we walked through the scenario. Okay, so what's gonna happen? I'm not going to A&M. You know, you have a scholarship. You need to be playing football at your school. You need to be doing what you're doing. How are we gonna do this? I need to get a job. And I just remember asking, I mean, do you think that's what's best for her? And he said, no. And he goes, I just love her so much. All I could say back was, I know, me too. But it was that answer of, I love her so much that we knew adoption was the right choice for our daughter. Open adoption gave me the opportunity to see my plan work. And there is no greater gift a birth mother can receive than see her daughter, her son, live the life that I knew I couldn't have provided.